Okay, we're going to be using the definition of a logarithmic function to switch formats from logarithmic form to exponential form and vice versa. So first of all, let's start out with log base 3 of a equals b. What I like to do to begin with to get to exponential form is I identify what our base is. You'll notice I read that off as log base 3 of a equals b. So I called 3 the base, so we're going to begin with that. Now from the formula, you can see that our base here it kind of looks like it's raised to the x power. It's not really what it means here, but it's log base b of x in the formula over here. We line up the base first, and then our exponent that's going to get attached to it is not going to be the same as what was inside of the logarithmic function. So in our case, b comes from the other side, and this is going to equal a. All right, next we have a common log. A uh, common log automatically means log base 10. So if you see a log, but it doesn't have a base identified, it's automatically log base 10. So to switch that over to exponential form, we're going to write the base first, 10. Now it kind of looks like 10 raised to the n power. Not what it means, but that's what it kind of looks like. In exponential form, it can't be 10 raised to the n power. So p goes up in the exponent, n to the other side. And we're in exponential form. Finally, we have a natural log of t equals m. Well, by definition, ln, natural log, is log base e of t. That means the exact same thing. So we only have to identify our bases, e this time. It's not going to be raised to the t power, so we put m as the new exponent, and t goes on the other side. All right, now let's go the opposite direction. All right, let's start with our exponential equations over on the right-hand side and switch them over to logarithmic format. So for logarithmic form, we have to have a log. First thing I'm going to do is identify the base. In the first one, it's going to be 7 as our base, so it goes as a subscript. And because that was 7 to the w power, it's not going to look like 7 to the w power in logarithmic format. So x goes inside the logarithmic function, w to the other side. Next, we have 10 raised to the r power equals a. So logarithmic format, that's going to be log base 10. And then a is going to go inside of our logarithmic function r goes to the other side. And just like we mentioned before, if you were to write this without the base, simply using a common log, log without a base indicated, that would mean the same thing. And finally, e raised to the a power equals b. This is the same thing as log base e of b equals a. If we wanted to, we could replace that log base e with natural log of b equals a. All right, hope this helps out um, as you're getting used to the definition of logarithmic function and switching back and forth between our forms. Good luck.